Hello everyone, it's Yuri here, and today I'm back with another video. I you might see I'm wearing a little cute little dress I just got done with morning church service, and I was just thinking, I'm dressed, let's just film this video. And this has been a video that I've been meaning to do for a long time. I was just kind of letting it build up. But today I'm going to be talking about some of my current favorites and empties as well. You know, it could be an empty, but like honestly i'm a person like i'm still gonna find a way to use finish up a skincare product even if i didn't like it so um so not all these empties are necessarily good empties but yeah let's just get in with it so you might have seen in the thumbnail i have like a whole bin full of just empties and products i want to talk about so let's get into it so before that i get into those empties in my bin designated bin i did want to talk about some of my favorites right now and this is my makeup bag this is like the bag i just put in my work bag like when i go to work and this cushion i i can make a video on just this cushion by itself but i did just want to talk about this in this video i've been reaching for this cushion a lot lately and it's been doing really well under a mask and i posted on instagram i went somewhere i went to the science museum with my friend the other day and we took some pictures and i was wearing this cushion and i'm like my skin looks really good and i have like multiple pictures selfies of me wearing this and i'm like what the heck what cushion am i wearing and it's this one this is the cleo kill cover fixer cushion really like this one and i had this cushion on hand for a while i was trying like the found wear cushions first my first Cleo cushion was the Foundwear XP. They renewed it for the all new, and now they have like the new Foundwear, which is like in the square, like clear casing with the still round middle. But haven't bought that one, haven't tried that one. But even right now, like if you go on Style Korean and look, not Style Korean, if you go on Olive Young Global and like look at like the top sellers, this cushion is still up there. It's like in the top 50, and I'm like surprised, and I'm like, they do, on All of You on Global, they do say this cushion is mass proof, and I agree. It definitely, I mean, like, no no cushion can ever be, like, completely mass proof, I feel like. But, like, it does a little bit better than other cushions. Um, definitely something that a lot of people will say, and I agree, is, like, you don't like that feeling when you wear a matte cushion. And then maybe after a couple hours, like, your skin feels tight because it's dry, like, it dried down. This one has a really good dry down but it doesn't give me that feeling like it doesn't like dry down to the point that it makes my skin tight so yeah it has a really good moisturized still like moisturized feeling and of course Cleo has the cool touch like cooling effect in their cushions so I really like that but yeah I did want to share this if you're looking to get a pretty affordable k-beauty cushion right now still fits like everything like i mean like if you're still wearing masks or not wearing masks this one's good mask or without a mask so yeah i wanted to share that one for one of my favorites been really reaching and this one i don't i feel like i talked about this in the video but i don't remember but this is one of my favorites too it's the too cool for school art class by rodin this is the powder they have two class too cool for school uh art class rodin the contour palette I bought it, I haven't opened it yet, but this is the white powder, just like you use it to set after you do your base makeup, and I've hit pan on this. I've already repurchased it because I'm like, I really like this one, and you know what gets people probably is that it's white, so you're like, is it going to make me look white, you know, because it's white base powder, and you know, in um, American makeup, we go for more like the banana color powders or like, you know, the powders that match your skin tone better, but this is not bad, like it blends really well, even though it's white it it blends well and it doesn't like make me look extremely white and i just use it with the brush set the free brush it came with but yeah i've I, it, it shows that i i really like this powder i use it pretty much in my daily makeup so yeah that's another one of my makeup favorites so for makeup wise that's been my favorites um is there any other makeup i've been really liking i think i ugh, that eyeliner let me grab it it's in here it's in here this eyeliner i've been really liking uh i do really like that cleo gel liner but this one i recently purchased from olive young 
and I really like it, is the color gram. Um, what was I saying? The color gram cream liner, and I don't know what shade this is. It's a brown shade. Shade number eight, creamy brown. It's literally called creamy brown. But I like the color of it. It's a really nice, just natural brown. So I just like do tight line and then blend a little bit of wing at the end. But yeah, I really like this one. Compared to the Clio one, I really like the Clio, like sharp. I think I have one on hand. It's not open because my old one dried out, so I threw it away. But I did repurchase this one before because I really like this one. This brown gel liner from Clio. This is the Sharp So Simple Waterproof Pencil Liner. I like this one. This one does get a little dry though uh, towards the end of the day. So like I kind of feel like my eye gets tight and it's really hard to remove. I mean, I get it. It's waterproof. But um, yeah, this one I do feel like I like this one a little bit better. It's a little bit more creamy, more easier to blend. If you like to like smudge it and this one is has that formula, you can do that. Anyways. It lasts all day, and I like the color and the formulation, and it goes on pretty smooth. And it's not, like, too dry. I've had a point, the Cleo one, like, it's it's pretty dry formula. I mean, I get it, it's supposed to be, like, waterproof, that's why it's like that, but, like, I was using it, and I kind of, I screwed it up too much, and then it broke. Like, a part of it broke off, and I'm like, that's disappointing. <laughs> but this one, I haven't done that. Really nice, creamy formulation. And obviously the pricing is not too expensive on it, maybe like seven or eight bucks. Try to always get it on sale, my fellow friends. But yeah, if you wanted to try a gel liner, I really like this one. Really been using that one. And the Color Grand Palette. Uh, I like that one too. Um, okay, I do want to talk about a couple other products. I've been really using my Dokdo toner from Round Lab and actually I don't use this on my face I've been using this on my hands my hands would be dry AF lately with the winter weather so I use this and then I've been using this Wellage Wellage am I saying that right Wellage Wellage the blue serum I'll be honest like I bought these for my face recommended by Sue Beauty that's why I bought this one I used it on my face it didn't really do nothing and I was trying to get rid of like you know the bumps on the forehead but like it didn't really help so then I was like I'll find another way to use it use it on your body use it wherever so I use this first on the hands and then I go in with this and then try to go in just like with a really thick cream so I just been using like this plant base secret cream also use this on my face is a little bit too thick it's a really I can show you right now it's super thick like it's a really thick formulation for someone whose combos oily skin like this is too thick for me so I can even show you now I'm gonna try to use this up but um, give me a second um, this one been really using this cream this one works a lot better on my face this is the waterfall hyaluronic acid cream from Jimmy so I got this with the oh what is that the the try me review me the Jimmy so I did a video on that I got it for free sent from style cream I've been really using this it's almost empty so and my skin likes it because it's not like too crazy thick like obviously like really thick creams like this would be better for like if you are a dry skin type but for me it's a little too heavy for me so I use it on my hands and my hands love it so I might split this video in two so it, this was supposed to be <laughs> favorites and then empties but it's kind of getting like already in nine minutes so did I talk about this I didn't talk about this yet <laughs> I did not okay um I'll just do I'm gonna make this video two parts so this I'll just start with like some of my current favorites not technically f empties but some of my favorites that I'm currently using. Um, I have this Pyonghan Yur uh, Black Tea Time Reverse Eye Cream. I've been really using this. It's getting squeezed out pretty well. Um, I have tried like retinol eye creams. I used a Rock one, an American brand, not a K-Beauty brand. And it just hurt my eyes. And I talked to my friend about it. And she says, well, it's supposed to do that, but it works, right? But I'm like, I don't 
like my eyes burning I mean I get it it works but like I hate to have like sensitivity around my eye especially like when you do like eyeliner and you're rubbing it you're taking it off makeup and it just feels like it's a little bit more sensitive and you know the skin around your eye is already pretty thin so I don't want to like make my eyes hurt more than they already do but I opened this recently I've been trying it and I really like it it has um like fermented black tea niacinamide in the main ingredient but I like this eye cream a lot better than my previous one because it doesn't burn like I don't like when it burns so it, it blends into the eye area very nicely I just like put a little bit here and then just blend around my eye don't forget the crow's feet guys but yeah I really like this one obviously but I don't say it if Pyong Kang Yo could be pretty pricey like if you're not getting it on sale but like get it on sale like style crane has like brand sale sometimes so they have like pyong kang your like just the brand is like up to like 60 70 percent off so if you wanted to try an eye cream from pyong kang your i do recommend the black tea one okay so that is part one of this video um i'm gonna split the video in half because i think my phone's overheating but um yeah so that was my current favorites and I hope you enjoyed this video. There's going to be a part two for my empties. And yeah, please like, subscribe, comment down below uh, some of your favorites right now. And yeah, um, hope you have a good day and maybe see you in the next video. Bye.